three years ago, <clears throat> I'm at the pretty much the end of my rope. Um, I'm living on the streets of Portland, not for very long times, but I was homeless and it's, it's a hard life. I am, I'm used to being really good at things and I wasn't good at being homeless. I don't like to joke about it, but I'm, I wasn't. Um, you could eat all day long in Portland. I mean, that's why our, our population of our, our, our houseless guests are, is what it is. And I have such a heart for them now because I understand where they're coming from. So God put me at the Union Gospel Mission. It would be three months sober, make enough money at some part-time job, and then drink for two months, and then lose most everything. And then I'd stretch it out for six months or five months, and then do another couple months of, of just falling off the wagon. Part of the UGM process and, and the program, and we like to call it um, the community now, so it's a life change community, is finding a, a church. And um, I found the downtown campus, and I came in, and I met Pastor Robert down there. And he shook my hand, asked my name, and said, yeah, go enjoy the service. So I came back the next Sunday and brought somebody else, another brother from, from the UGM. And we're walking up the stairs of the downtown campus, and Robert's at the top of the stairs, like normal. Hey, hey Craig, how you doing? And he reached out his hand to me, and I'm like, the guy next to me is like, what's going on? That's the pastor. That was it. So it was, it was a church family. I can, I can text anybody from church or the church groups that I'm in or leading and feel comfort and hope that somebody knows. The journey started with, with me, myself, and I. Nobody else. I made the money. I could do what I want, work hard, play hard. That's old school thinking. Don't need anybody else. Then nobody else would be around me because I didn't want to be, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want anybody because I didn't feel worth. Now after UGM and the downtown campus, there is an amazing amount of, of, of hope. We all need each other. We all need the family. We all need the body of the church. That's something that that is just coming more more to light every every day.